Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and do a 2021 handbag collection video from least to most expensive. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contenders in our handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci and Burberry. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. Um, so just starting from the top, this is my Coach uh, Vintage Court Bag. I purchased this uh, in February of 2019 for $30 on Craigslist. It is obviously a very beautiful bag. It's that coach kind of classic uh, full grain leather. But honestly, I hardly use this bag. Uh, it's just kind of heavy. It's kind of inconvenient. The strap is not adjustable, although it is um, a nice leather strap, you know, in here. Um, I just really don't use this bag that much, but I don't really want to sell it because A, I don't think I'd be able to sell it for that much anyway, and B, I think it is a classic kind of coat shape that I might regret selling, especially because this one's in such good condition um, in the future. Next up is my Coach Kelsey Satchel. I purchased this in November of 2019 for $32 on Poshmark. Um, this is, you know, one of those very big slouchy bags. You know, this is the size of my hand, so you can tell that it's very big. So I do, um, sorry, it's stuffed with air paper, but I do use a bag organizer in it um, to kind of help it keep some structure. It used to be one of my favorite bags to take when I was out and about and going on errands, but I've started to kind of stop liking it so much. Um, mostly because it doesn't have any exterior pockets and I have found that it's really easy to lose my phone um, in this bag. It kind of slips on, you know, this side of the organizer, or that side of the organizer. There's not really much stopping it from kind of falling to the bottom of the bag if I accidentally, you know, misplace it inside the bag in a hurry. Uh, but I do think it is still kind of a useful size of bag, especially maybe if I took out the bag organizer in the future. So I'm going to keep it. Um, it's a nice beater bag to have around. Next up is this Coach Carry Crossbody. I purchased this in January of 2021 for $34 on Poshmark. I have used it like once, I think, but I think even then when I used it, I just put my stuff in, realized it was really small, and then took my stuff out before even leaving the house. Um, it doesn't really fit much. I don't think it really comfortably fits my wallet, phone, and keys at the same time, as well as like a hand sanitizer or really anything practical. Um, that said, I haven't sold it yet um, because I I think it might be a useful bag to have for special events. Uh, in particular, I have two family weddings coming up, you know, knock on wood, hoping everything works out. Um, but it might be a good bag to have for those weddings, particularly because I'm going to travel to them, so it might be nice to have a smaller bag to take to those. Next up is my very classic Longchamp Le Playage Large Tote. I purchased this in September of 2019 for $42 on Poshmark. Uh, it is the bag that I intend to use as a work tote whenever I do end up going back to the office. Um, I've gone to the office a couple of times um, just, you know, to kind of set up my desk and stuff, and it, it's been perfect to use for that. Um, I have my um, organizer in here. That's actually my work ID down there, and I keep a, a laptop sleeve as well to hold my work laptop. Uh, great bag. I got it for a great deal. So I, it's, you know, nice to not have to worry about it so much. I just, you know, throw it over my shoulder and don't worry about putting it on the floor of the train or anything like that. It's just a perfect practical bag for a commute. Next up is my Fossil Small Kinley Crossbody. I purchased this in August of 2020 for $46 from Fossil.com. I don't really use it too much because it is a slightly smaller bag and I don't necessarily love really teeny tiny bags um, just because I I like to be able to just chuck my stuff in without having to do a bunch of like Tetris to put stuff in. Um, that said, this bag does fit kind of the perfect amount for a light errand or for a hike. Uh, the last time I used this bag, I actually went to a park with my husband and we just like went on a walk and it's really practical for something like that where I don't really need to carry a ton of stuff. Um, I just want to basically have my car keys and my phone and like a hand sanitizer and I don't think I'll be going in and out of my bag that much. So it is like a nice bag to have that's really lightweight for things like that. Next up is my Fossil Fiona Satchel. I purchased this in May of 2020 for $50 in a DSW buy one get one free sale for, I think it was like all leather handbags or handbags from a certain set of brands. Um, I actually have started really, really liking this bag. Uh, I think it's a great bag um, to take around when actually my husband is driving because I can just kind of grab this, put it on my lap and not have to worry about like unhooking a crossbody or anything like that from across my shoulders. It does obviously hold its shape as well because it is such a structured bag. So it's nice that my stuff kind of stays in its place because the bag itself has a lot of structure. 
it's more practical than my Coach Kelsey because it has this exterior slip pocket where I can put my phone. Um, and then of course it will have, you know, the crossbody strap if I wanted it, but I don't necessarily use the crossbody strap that much. I do have a, a base shaper in this bag from Etsy. It's just an acrylic kind of plastic base shaper. Um, and that does help the bag keep its shape, but also then, you know, not take up a ton of room like maybe something like a bag organizer would. Next up is my Fossil Skylar crossbody. I purchased this in October of 2021 for $63 from Fossil.com. Um, I bought this specifically as an understated bag to take to work, not only um, on the train when I'm commuting, but also when I like go out to lunch with my coworkers and things like that. It's just a nice understated bag that I can sling across my shoulder to take with me then. Um, I do like that it has uh, two handles. So it has this like shorter top handle, which I can just grab and go if I need to, you know, grab my bag very quickly if we're heading out. Um, but it also has this longer uh, shoulder strap, which is one of Fossil's like really nice infinity straps. Um, so it goes from, you know, a, a, a comfortable shoulder strap to a nice long crossbody. The only thing um, that I don't love about this bag is that it doesn't have an exterior pocket, which is, you know, something again that I really appreciate in my bags. So when I do want to have like my phone on me when I'm on the train, um, I it, I find it a little bit troublesome because I have to leave the, either leave the bag open so my phone is easy access or I have to keep zipping and unzipping the bag to get my phone out. The tough thing about Fossil, while I do love it as a bag brand because I do feel like it's very practical and very well priced, is that it doesn't really have much in terms of resale value. So if I tried to sell this on Poshmark, I honestly don't think I would even be able to sell it for like $40, let alone what I actually paid for it when you take into account, you know, the selling fees and all that especially. So um, I don't necessarily think I'd be able to get rid of this bag, even though I don't necessarily love all of the functionality of it, but it is a good bag to have um, for that purpose of, of taking it to the office. Um, so I will keep it for now. Next up is a bag that I've had for a very long time. This is my Fossil Kinley Crossbody. I purchased this in December of 2018 for uh, $100 originally from eBay, but then I got a $30 price rewind for my credit card, which is not a thing that credit cards do anymore. Um, but at that time, you know, I got that nice deal. So I ultimately paid $70 for this bag. This bag has turned into basically my beater bag in my collection. Um, I take it with me whenever I travel and I just kind of put, I, you know, I put my normal purse stuff in here. I put my wallet and um, phone, you know, in the front pocket and stuff like that. And then I can just shove this bag in my backpack uh, so that I can kind of consolidate all my personal items on an airplane. And it's turned out to be like a really great bag for travel like that. Um, as a result, you know, it is looking a little worse for wear. Um, you know, I have some corner wear, um, Actually, it's not looking so bad, but it certainly, um, you know, has taken more of a beating than the rest of the bags in my collection, but I think it's a great bag to have around for that purpose. I actually liked the Kinley crossbody so much that I bought kind of a new and improved version in December of 2020 for $73 from Fossil.com. This is the Fossil Kinley Satchel. Um, it's just as practical as the Fossil Kinley crossbody that I just showed you, but it has the additional feature of these top handles, which is great. I love a good top handle to just be able to grab and, and take my bag into a store, um, especially if it's like the winter and I have a big heavy coat on. It's really nice to have these top handles to avoid having to sling a bag across a big bulky coat. Um, this is a wonderful bag. I don't travel with this bag because I don't necessarily want to beat it up as much because it is kind of structured and I, I like the way it looks right now. So I just use this one when I'm at home, but it is a, a very practical shape that I love from Fossil. Next up is this Coach Reversible Tote in the Legacy Coated Canvas print. Uh, it has this kind of like smooth blue leather details. I do have a little bit of hot stamping on the back of that hang tag there. Um, I purchased this bag uh, in... August of 2018 for $98 in person at the Coach Outlet. Um, I got a price rewind of like $5 for it, so ultimately I paid $93 for this bag. Um, this bag, my husband actually picked it out kind of when we were at the Coach Outlet together, so it's, you know, a bag that has a lot of sentimental value. I haven't really used it much because I don't necessarily have a work commute right now, and I don't necessarily foresee using it a lot in the future, even when I do have to go back to the office because I used to commute by car. Um, so this big kind of open uh, opening was not a big deal when I was commuting by car, but now I commute by train or wood in the future. So this, you know, the lack of security here might be a bit of a bigger deal. 
Uh, that said, I'm definitely never going to sell it because of the sentimental value. Um, and so like maybe in the future, it'll be a good diaper bag or, you know, a bag for when I need more stuff with me. I do really like Coach's Coated Canvas. Um, like my, this bag is what made me fall in love with the combination of coated canvas with smooth leather handles. So I, you know, certainly think this bag will get a lot of use at some point in the future, just not really right now. And of course, you know, if, if you're someone who, um, follows Louis Vuitton. This is a great dupe for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It has those smooth leather handles, coated canvas exterior that's very, very durable, um, but of course at a, a fraction of the cost. Next up is this Coach Gallery Tote in the Disco Star print. Um, this is another coated canvas bag with a smooth leather handle. Um, it is a very good dupe for the Louis Vuitton Iena bag. I purchased it uh, in November of 2021 for $116 on coachoutlet.com. Um, you know, nowadays when I'm purchasing bags from the Coach Outlet, even though I live within driving distance to a Coach Outlet, I tend to purchase them online um, because the Coach Outlet near me is is limiting the capacity of their stores. So you have to like stand in this really, really long line to be able to get in. So I've been shopping more um, at the coachoutlet.com than maybe I would like to. I'd like to go in and see bags, but um, it's just not really practical right now. Um, I love this print. I love the star print. I think it's really, really fun. Obviously, it's not very professional, so I'd never be able to use this like in the office, but I do love using it on the weekends. Um, it does have this really large front pocket, which is great. Uh, it does hold my, um, my, my wallet, my keys, and my phone in it, so it's like a relatively large pocket. Um, that said, it, it is a little bit tight, so I have to worry about making sure I don't zip my wallet. I accidentally once zipped my car key case, which is like a, a Gucci key case, so it was kind of a big deal. Um, so I do have to be careful when I do use the, the front pocket to make sure I don't zip my SLGs. Uh, I actually realized I skipped a bag in the middle of that. I missed this Longchamp uh, Le Playage Club Tote, and this is a new purchase uh, that I purchased in November of 2021 for $93. I purchased it at Saks Off Fifth. I technically had a $50 gift card, so I, like, out of pocket paid $43 for this. Um, I clearly haven't used it yet because it is still all folded up, but it's going to be a great alternative or great kind of a great thing to rotate. Once I do actually go back to the office, I can, you know, limit the amount of wear on both of my lip layage totes by just kind of rotating them when I go to the office. It is a color, but I think it's a relatively understated color, so it's still professional enough to take to the office with me. Next up is my vintage Gucci accessories collection bag, which I purchased in December of 2019 for $127 on Poshmark. Uh, if you have been following my channel, you know that I did an extensive amount of work to this bag to clean the interior so it wasn't flaking, to fix or, you know, try to kind of jankily repair um, the crossbody strap that had a hole in it, um, and then uh, just to, you know, condition the exterior and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't love this bag because the strap still feels very delicate to me. I feel like it is just like one step away from like ripping. Maybe it's just all in my head because, you know, I already had some damage here. Um, but I do, you know, tend to not use this bag that much. I actually forced myself to use it this week. It's like full of all of my stuff uh, right now. But um, I don't like typically reach for this bag. That said, I, I'm not going to sell it because I don't think it would sell for much given the uh, state of the strap. Maybe like one day I'll just cut off part of the strap and like punch new holes so that I can just get rid of that janky repair that I've done. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm on the fence about whether I want to do that because if you cut off part of the strap, there's like the stitching that you'd have to replace and you'd have to replace some glazing. And I'm not sure if I will do any better of a job replacing those as I did with this repair um, and it might just end up looking just as bad with a shorter less useful strap. Next up is my Coach Star Jess crossbody which I purchased in October of 2020 for $130 on the coachoutlet.com. Um, I was actually going to sell this bag recently uh, just because I don't reach for it that much. I tend to really like bags that have a top handle. Like my two go-to features, as I've been saying, are having a top handle and then having a slip pocket. This one does have an exterior slip pocket for your phone, which is great, but it doesn't have that top handle. So it does get a little bit annoying to like sling it um, on and off my body, particularly because the strap is kind of thick. 
That said, my husband really likes the look of this bag and he was like, don't sell it. Um, and he convinced me to just try to use it one more time. And I did enjoy using it. Um, I think it's a great bag for when I don't need to take my uh, bag on and off all the time. Like when my when my husband is driving us around, I can just leave this on myself kind of crossbody and put it on my lap when I'm in the passenger seat and it works out. So I am gonna keep it because I do love the look of it, um, but it's just not like the most practical shape for me. And last but not least is my Michael Kors Vivian bag. I've had this bag since December of 2018. I purchased it for $142 at the Michael Kors outlet in person. Um, it's a beautiful bag. You can see it has that beautiful, you know, rose detail. And then it has the beautiful quilting on the back that looks like theater curtains. I don't necessarily use it that much um, just because it is, I don't know, it's a pretty bag. It's, it's actually a very practical bag. You know, you have these top handles that can be um, a longer shoulder bag or it can be a crossbody bag. You have a back slip pocket there. It's a nice, you know, nice size bag. It certainly fits my SLGs and anything I would need, you know, and an errand or if I'm going to the mall or anything. So it has nothing to do with the fact that the bag is like a bad shape or not practical. It's just that I don't reach for it that much. So maybe I should start reaching for it. Um, it is a bit large for something like a special occasion. So if I was thinking about taking this to like the weddings that I'm planning on going to or like a, a work holiday party, I'm not sure if I would take it. But it's a practical shape, um, so I should start using it more. I just, just haven't. Um, so because of that, I have considered selling it. It is technically listed on my Poshmark for a really high price right now just to see if anyone will bite. But I'm not like really convinced that I want to sell it um, because it is you know beautiful and practical at the same time. So that is all of my handbags. I will be honest, I have one more on the way in the mail, um, but it technically will arrive in 2022, so that's why it's not included in this video. Um, but uh, for now, that's all the bags that I have. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for watching, and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you um, have any of these bags and what you think of them. Thanks, guys. Bye.